Well, take a listen to this. That is Angus Anderson, host of First People, First Occupants, an all-Indigenous music show on CHMR Radio in St. John's. Anderson is originally from Maine, but he's been living on the island for close to 20 years. He started the radio show just a few weeks ago, and we reached him in St. John's to find out more. Angus, good morning. Good morning. So first of all, tell me, where did the idea for this show come from? I thought about it for a while. It's just that I wasn't sure which station to approach and what regulations the stations, ha- different stations have out here in St. John's. So uh, the only one I can see of approving it without turning away my life was uh, Mon Radio. So for people who haven't actually heard the show, maybe you can tell me a little bit about the format. Well, it's basically an a- Aboriginal show where I host and speak in Inuktitut and English and basically play nothing but Aboriginal music, whether it be Inu, Inuit, Métis, Dene, like anything Aboriginal Canadian. Uh, if I can get my hands on it, I'll play it on my show. And why was it important to you that you speak in Uktitut on the air? It's part of my way of uh, keeping the language alive and getting people interested in hearing it again. That We've had a lot of tourists come through here that have been up to Labrador and said, I heard Inuktitut up there and like, we don't hear it on the island. Mm-hmm. And also have people just want to hear Inuktitut spoken or Inuit music. So tell me a little bit about your experience growing up and, and how prevalent Inuktitut was in, in your home because a lot of people who even still live in Inuktitut uh, haven't managed to maintain their language as well as you. Tell me about how important it was growing up. It was very important. Uh, even as a kid, it, like, you know, to, to children, language does not mean anything at the, as a child. But uh, to my grandparents, I think it was very important that we keep the language. And uh, I was uh, fluent Inuk speaking as a child. But when I started going to school, getting into higher grade, middle higher grades, I started losing my language. And uh, one day my grandma said that uh, if you don't speak to me in Inuk, don't talk to me. <laughs> And that was the kickstart of getting my language back, which uh, I've been doing ever since. Boy, I, I can't imagine what a difference that made. Have you ever thought about what would have happened if she would have just agreed to speak to you in English? Uh, it would have been totally different today. I'm when I look back now at it, like because it was her simple little word saying that that made me think, "Oh my God, I'm losing my language." And now I'm not, I'm not to, I just uh, know my language. I'm, a, I'm also a teacher now, and as you say, we, I'm doing a radio show with it. Is it hard to, to, I don't even know how this works because I don't speak any other languages, but w- when you live in St. John's, do you have enough opportunities to speak in Inuktitut so that it's always fresh in your mind? Well, I have various ways of keeping my language as like I listen to a lot of innovative music video much videos online whether it be from Labrador or from other different land Inuit land claim regions like Nunavik, Nunavut and the New Valley. And uh, I also teach Inuktitut Labrador Inuit dialect one on one or using multimedia online. So and I'm also called to be interpreter translator in various aspects here in St. John's. It could be for medical or it could be for judicial or other. Hmm. So when you're trying to teach other people uh, the language, are there plenty of resources, whether it's books or websites or, or things that you can direct people to? 
out here in St. John's, uh, the only resources uh, I am aware of are at Nuna Sherwood office, uh, Rosetta Stone 1 and 2, they have available for sale. Uh, university has a small collection, but it's, uh, you have to borrow it from the library, I believe. And mm. so as for resources, it's hard. But uh, when I'm teaching it, I, I don't use no material. I just use, I teach from my head, and mm. it's all basic in Institute 101. So back to the show, what kind of feedback have you received from the public? Uh, well, it's through uh, CHMR Mun Radio, uh, where it's a small radio station where its antenna doesn't even cover the whole Avalon. Mm. But the feedback is good. We get, I'm getting a lot of, oh, my God, we finally can hear an institute in St. John's kind of feedback. And after the second show, I decided to uh, put the podcast on my Facebook. Now, people not just in Avalon, but people anywhere that got my Facebook are uh, sharing it on their Facebook. So it's spreading right across Canada, and uh, CHMR is getting more recognition than my show. So, I mean, I, I love the fact that people now can actually hear more Aboriginal music, whether it be one hour a week, but they can still hear uh, Aboriginal Inu- Inuit making music on radio. And I understand you've actually got musicians reaching out to you to, to offer you their CDs and things like that. I have a few, actually. Kelly Fraser is sending me a CD and... Uh, Twin Flames and Quantum Tango, like, and like there are like Dave Hart from uh, Labrador, mm-hmm. and so I am getting uh, CDs sent in to the station for me to play on my radio show. Well, just before we let you go, any suggestion on a song we should play after we hang up with you? I do. It's a uh, You Got to Run by Poppy Saint Marie and Tanya Taha. All right, well, we will play that one. Angus, thank you so much for this. All right, thank you very much for your time. Angus Angus Anderson is the host of First People, First Occupants on CHMR Radio. Now here are Tanya Tagak and Buffy St. Marie with You Got to Run.
That's Tanya Tagak and Buffy St. Marie with You've Got to Run, Spirit of the Wind. Buffy St. Marie is a national treasure. Absolutely. And yeah. Tanya Tagak is uh, quickly approaching uh, that national, national treasure, treasure status. status. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, that's a great song. And that was a recommendation by Angus Anderson. Uh, you can check out uh, his show on CHMR on uh, Memorial Radio. It's uh, out of St. John's, but you can find it online as well. Lots of great songs uh, and recommendations there.